Hello everyone. Today on Adventures with Paul we're going to be dealing with cable management. I got a um, comment from the guys that made my 3D printer saying that they really liked the way I did my wiring. So I'm going to show what I did for some of the things right off and then I'll go and in another video do a full run through of how I routed the wiring and all. Uh, what I want to start out with is this is a two conductor connector. Let's see if we can get that right there. That was for the uh, thermistor focus there. Anyhow, you'll notice two wires red and black. Now, most people, most of the things I've seen, they just take these and zip tie them or tuck them in and zip tie them to something, but the wires are left to uh, separate and for two wires it's not that big of a problem, but it turns into a mess when you get more than two. Um, I take this and treat it like a uh, twisted rope. Uh, the way they make twisted rope is they take the individual strands and twist them one way and then twist them together the opposite way. The quick way of doing this, I'm going to hold this right out in front, I'm going to twist this clockwise as viewed from the top, and I'm going to twist this also clockwise as viewed from the top. So my fingers are actually going to go opposite directions, but as I twist from the top clockwise both ways, it makes the connector in the middle twist together and you'll see the wire starting to spiral there and uh, as I go it'll just spiral right together all the way down. And for two wires it's really rather like the, the side of the face of the wire towards you are both going to your left. Yes. So that's how I'm spinning them, so it just comes right together. And then I'll put a knot in the end just to hold it so it doesn't unravel. Now, the nice thing about this is if I untwist it, it twists itself back together again. Alright, so that's two wires. Now, this here is uh, the end stop connector, and it's got three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comb them out so they're all separate from each other. And I'm let, it's a red, black, and a blue. I'm going to let the blue just hang down low. And I'll do the exact same thing I did with the red and the black to start out with. And getting it started because of that third wire can be a little bit of a pain, but it will start spiraling. You'll get the wires tight enough and then it'll twist. And I'm going to run all the way down like I did before. And the blue wire is just dragging on the floor right now, spiraling down there, but it's not getting tangled in anything because it's just hanging loose. Alright, so I'll put a knot in the top like I did before, keeps that together. Alright, now this blue wire, what do we do with that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it in between the black and the red, and I'm going to twist the connector at the top here, and as I twist this wire here, laying the blue in, you can see it kind of tangles itself down here. I need to keep combing that out, and I want to keep the blue wire separate from the red and the black, so I'll just drape it over an arm over here to get it out of the way, and I'm going to twist, I'm twisting the cable up here, and the blue wire is just laying in. I'm trying to keep that as smooth as possible so it's the same color order. It's like I got uh, blue, red, black, blue, red, black. It kind of folds over right there, so I'll smooth that down and bring it all the way. Okay, and keep that in line and just the, the end is swinging around my head right now, but just keeping the blue from tangling in with the others down here. Um, what's happening is the end is spiraling as well. See the knots going around. The blue wire is also twisting, so I've got to keep them from tangling. And when I hit the knot, I'll just run it up th through, around, and through again. like that. So there I have three wires. Now again, if I untwist, they'll twist themselves back together again. They'll stay together. This keeps 
three wires nice and neat. Now, I'm going to reposition my camera and show you how to do more than three. When you get more than three, it gets more complicated. So hold on a sec. Okay, I have some uh, motor connectors here. And uh, there are four wires, so we're getting more complicated. And again, it gets much, the more wires you get, the more unwieldy they become. Um, I'm going to give you a close-up view of what I'm doing to undo the things. All right, on this side here, you can see the latches. And the way these work is uh, you lift the little plastic bit with something. I'm using a razor. And you can depin the connector. Now, I'm going to leave one of the middle ones in. Our order was blue, red, green, black. All right, so when we're done, that's what we're going to wind up with, looking at it the same way. All right, so I'm going to pull everything out and be left with one wire in the connector. Now, the way this worked out when I was doing my uh, 3D printer was I mounted the motors and then had a pigtail of wire leaning out. So I'm just going to I put a knot on the end. I'm just going to hook that so I can demonstrate what I did with the actual motors. Now, I'll deep in this. Take blue, red, green, black. So I'm going to pull the blue, the green, and the black. And hopefully not slice my fingers off in the process. Ah, success. All right, now, I want to start with the green and the red. They were right next to each other. The blue and the black were out at the edges. So, now, the camera's a bit away from this because this is a bit of a wide-angle shot, but what I'm going to do is take my two wires, and I'm going to just wrap them around each other without letting them twist as I'm going. I'm not twisting them together. I'm kind of wrapping. It's like I pick up the red and drop it over the green and keep doing that. So there's no twist being imparted to the wires as I'm going here at all. And I'll go all the way out to the end. I want it a little bit snug. And then when I get to the end, I'm going to repin the green wire in place. Right there. So now we got red and green twisted together. And it's the same effect as on the other one. If I untwist, it twists itself back together again. Because I was just wrapping them, I wasn't twisting them together. The wires, if you go to untwist, you're putting a twist into it. And when you let go, the twist relaxes, and you're back to where you started. Now. The blue wire was right next to the green. Let me verify that on another one. The blue, no, the blue wire was right next to the red, so the blue wire is going to wind up right here. So I'm going to grab the blue wire, and I'm going to do the same thing I did before, where I lay it right between the red and the green, so it's the same order going. It's blue, green, red, blue, green, red, all the way down. And I'm just wrapping it around and laying it in between those two wires so I don't overlap any and keep the order going all the way. Now, this is what I did with all my extruder, uh, my stepper motors here. It's four conductors, and I did exactly this. I depinned them. I wrapped them like this. And there's the blue wire, and it goes right next to the red. Red. Let's make sure. Blue wire goes next to the red. Right there. And then I do my last wire exact same way. I'm going to put it next to the red as well uh, as I'm going. So now I have my blue, green, black, red. Blue, green, black, red. And I'm just making sure the wire doesn't twist as I go.
Looks like I got a little bit of an overlap right there. And we get right down to the end and then put the black wire where it belongs. So I'll take it off my bolt there and smooth it out. So there's my motor wire. And again, if you untwist, I'm mean, putting a twist in the wires when I do that. So when I let go, the twist relax and my bundle twists itself back together again. So that's how I do most of my multi-conductor cables that I make myself. Um, I do this all the time. I've done it with as many as 10 wires so you get a nice bundle and I don't need zip ties. I don't need anything to hold this together. It can lay on anything and it'll hold itself together. So. That's how I do small bundles, and it's how I did my whole 3D printer. Uh, next video will be a review of how I routed all these bundles around through the extruded aluminum. So, until then.